apparently Fox News just did a story about me. So I'm going to respond to them because they have no way of contacting me. Why? Because all of the carnists took my phone number. Nobody can get a hold of me. So I have to get a hold of you guys. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share their song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. Hello, Fox News. That's the song I sang that had over 22 million followers on it. 22 million people saw that song. Now I'm here in my kitchen. My name is Miss Katie. I am that vegan teacher. I'm going to tell you a couple of things in case you want to put them in one of your newscasts. Okay? First of all, I know that you are very right wing. So one of the whole things I'm hoping for is that you are for freedom of speech and that you're going to actually listen to me. I also know a lot of your followers are kind of religious so, and they're probably a bunch of farmers. So that kind of sucks. But try to hear me out. Try to be neutral. Just try, okay? I know I'm going to say the same thing when it comes to CNN. They're going to, I have all kinds of problems with them too. But for now, I'm with you, Fox. All right, I'm going to try to make this brief because I know you just want sound bites. But here it goes. I am innocent. I did not do anything wrong. I should not have had my platform removed on TikTok. I am there talking about the animals, about the rape, the torture, and the murder that those poor innocent beings go through. And I'm there to talk about how the Holocaust never ended for the animals. Are you writing this down, Fox News? Okay, pay attention. It's really important. I know that all the farmers will say, oh, but we treat our animals well, but you don't. Because in the end, you're stabbing them in the throat or putting them in gas chambers and you are putting them on people's plates. It's not okay. Animals have a right to their body integrity. And what people have done to me is lie about me. The rumors are incredible. Imagine thousands of accounts in my name. People typing things all over the place. People think it's me that are saying those things. I'm not saying those things. Those terrible things. What things? Okay, I'm not racist. I'm not homophobic. I'm not ageist. I'm not ableist. I am not God. What are the other ones they accuse me of? Everything. Apparently, they, they, people spread lies and said that I broke eight Canadian laws. I never did that. I never broke any laws. Apparently, um, it's so bad that they feel like that I'm such a terrible person that they feel they need to throw dead body parts on my house. Why? Why do I deserve people to throw steaks at my house and, and eggs at my house? I don't deserve that. The animals don't deserve that. People say that my dog is dying. She's not, she's 100% healthy. Her name is Bella. I would send you to some TikTok videos to watch of her, but she's fine. She's been vegan since August, 2017. I've been vegan since June, 2016, 20, June 27th. That was my vegan declaration day. When is yours going to be? My message to you, Fox News, is please make sure that you get the message out to everybody that freedom of speech is absolutely necessary and that people have no right to ambush and attack somebody just for speaking out. If I was speaking out on behalf of black people, do you think that they would ban my 1.7 million followers? Never would that happen. If I was speaking out on the rights of the LGBTQ community, would they ban me for doing so? Would they throw dead body parts at my house? How fucked up is it? The world is messed up. Fox, I need your help. I need you to help me spread the message that my TikTok account should, not, account should not have been banned and that people should rise up because freedom of speech is absolutely necessary. I didn't do anything wrong. On the app, TikTok, all I did is I interacted with different people. If somebody was eating meat, I said, hey, how about you don't eat meat? How about you don't pay for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals? How about you have some tofu instead? And if a woman was doing it, I said the same to her. I said, why are you paying for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals when you are a woman who's supposed to be filled with compassion and you know what it's like to have a baby at your breast. You wouldn't want anybody to take that baby away and murder him and turn him into a veal sandwich. So why do you do it? Why do you pay into this? You wouldn't want somebody to pin you down and, and forcefully take your milk. Your milk is for your baby and a cow's milk is for her baby. We need to we need to transition into a vegan world. We need to do it gradually and we need to have monetary funds. We need the, the governments to start subsidizing, not the meat industry, not the dairy industry, not the egg industry, but into helping us to make the world a better place and to support people that are trying to grow plants. We don't want to filter those plants through the, the bodies of these animals first and then kill them. We need to phase out cows gradually, phase out pigs gradually. And the abuse that chickens take is horrible. They take baby boy chicks, and as soon as they're born, if they're boys, because they'll never be able to lay eggs, they put them in grinders and they blend them and kill them. 
Imagine if you found a baby chick on the side of the road and somebody said, hey, I think it's a good idea to put that in a blender right now. That's not what we do to innocent animals. We take them and we try to, get, to heal them. And then we're so happy when the little bird flies out of the nest. What's happened to our society? Fox News, I want you to make sure you tell TikTok that they need to give me back my account. And all of the people who have fake accounts, they need to find a way to get rid of them. I have been asking for my account to be verified for, for, for ages. I've written them over and over and said, look, it's, it's dangerous. People are believing that I'm saying things that I'm not. There's fake accounts that have fake videos of me eating at McDonald's. Of course I would never eat there. There are fake videos of me apparently smearing feces all over a restaurant. How, how can I possibly address each of these accusations? It's impossible. And so people started believing them. My dog is not dying. I'm not a crazy person. I'm, I'm, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not speaking out for animal rights and then eating them at the same time. I need help. We need to figure out a way in this world to have, have a way that people can communicate, but without the message being so distorted. I mean, it's dangerous. My neighbors real, literally think I'm a crazy person. They think that I've been to jail. I mean, how do you, how do I, what do I do? Go knock on every neighbor's door and say, by the way, that rumor there, that's not true. It's impossible. My reputation has been forever tarnished because of TikTok, refusing to give me to verification and for allowing these constant rumors to go on endlessly. Yes, I know I'm not your average vegan because veganism is not about food. It's about the animals and how they're treated. And why do I wear shirts like this? Because I want to start the conversation because the Jews should not have been murdered in gas chambers and neither should the pigs right now. And I want to say that, that, that all abuse is terrible. All oppression is terrible. I am a member of the LGBTQ community. I'm bisexual myself, but that shouldn't mean that only I get to talk about that community. Anybody should be able to talk about any community. You don't have to be black to speak on behalf of black people. You don't have to be gay in order to speak on behalf of them. You don't have to be an animal in order to speak on behalf of them. Our society has lost their minds. So Fox News, if you did an article about me and you want to interview me, in person. I don't even know what to tell you. What am I going to do? Give you my phone number and you're going to call me up? That anytime I give out any kind of information at all to anybody, it is completely bombarded. I gave out an email address and I, it was impossible. I got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of fake emails. I get pizzas delivered to my house because people think they're funny delivering meat and, and, and cheese pizzas. How did they get to my house? My address was docs. And did these, did, did these social medias take down these posts when I said, hey, yo, my address is... No, they left them up. So of course I got abused. I am a victim here. Now I don't want to talk about myself as a victim because the animals are really the victim. But the truth is vegan phobia exists. It's real and it is wrong and it is dangerous because people believe lies. And there are people out there who are sending me death threats. I've had people come at my door and smash on my door in the middle of the night. And I'm talking about the pizzas. I was, I was talking about that because what I'm saying is they deliver these pizzas and they think it's funny, but I of course don't pay for them. But who suffers? The poor delivery guy. I have to constantly send them back and say, sorry, it wasn't me. And then they don't get a tip and these are often immigrant workers. I mean, it is horrible what we've done. We need a better society. Fox News, I need you to speak on my behalf and tell people that censorship is wrong and that we need to restore sanity in our society. And I want my TikTok account back. I want all five of my TikTok accounts back because I was a good animal rights activist and I didn't do anything wrong. They even lied about me and said when I did a video about a college kid, a, a, a kid in college who, to me, I didn't know how old this person was. Everyone talks to everybody on TikTok and we all just joke around and interact with each other. And he was saying something about what he wanted to have a girl. And I said, well, if you want a good vegan girl, you're going to have to get her to, you know, you're going to have to impress her with your fruits, the fruits and vegetables that you're eating. You know, like how a bird like fluffs out and, and you know, animals change color to attract to me. It's like a joke of me saying, you know, eat lots of fruits and vegetables and you'll attract a nice vegan girl. Well, some pedophile on TikTok decided to twist my words and make it seem like I was saying something sexual. It's completely nuts what people do. That guy who has over 2 million followers, his name is, is Ethan Trace, who's an actor, and he, he just comes on there and says this. I never had any sexual ideas. He's the one who sexualized that child, not me. But why am I kicked off the app? He's the one who should be kicked off the app. He's the one with the dirty mind, not me. But even still, think about this. How many Disney movies are there with little jokes in them that are for the adults to keep them entertained? 
This is not me stalking a, a young person. This is me interacting on social media with a person who also interacts with social media. It's nothing wrong that I did. We need to restore sanity. That guy has to be taken down and I want my accounts back. And I'm asking for your help. Thank you.